We are following up on that bombshell in the Poker Club investigation. Harris County prosecutors dropping charges against several local, local poker clubs following a raid back in May. Tonight, we have learned the reason for that is a contract employee for the DA's office was allegedly acting as a consultant for those businesses. Channel 2 senior reporter Phil Archer live with that story tonight. Phil? Yeah, attorneys for the club owners say the arrests and charges last May were part of a fraud perpetrated against the owners and connected to that alleged conflict of interest within the DA's office. The arrests of nine poker parlor owners and employees made headlines last May, but the charges were dismissed this week because of an alleged conflict of interest in the district attorney's office. According to defense attorneys, that allegation centers around a prime fundraiser and contributor to DA Kim Ogg's campaign, Amir Myers Kendari. In 2017, he was hired as a consultant to the DA for complex financial and economic crimes. But attorneys for the Prime Social Poker Club say while working for the DA, a consulting group that allegedly included Myers Gendari approached the club owners offering to lobby City Hall to license Houston poker parlors in return for half a million dollars. The owners paid the money, according to their attorneys. So they believed they were being vetted, they believed they were within the ordinance, and they believed the ordinance was soon to be drafted and passed based on this representative or the person who worked at the DA's office representations to them. But after a year passed with no progress on the proposed ordinance, the club owners asked for their money back. Finally, they got suspicious. They started asking questions. They were told not to ask any questions or something bad would happen to them. And with a couple of weeks, the club were raided and but their employees were arrested. When the defense attorneys took that information to the DA, she dropped the charges against the club owners and the others and referred the case to the FBI. We believe that we were victims of a fraud, much as I believe that the DA's office was also a victim of a fraud. The DA had nothing further to say on that today, and Mr. Myers Kandari was unavailable for comment. Reporting live in Southwest Houston, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thanks.